Hello everyone. So this is the eighth video of the series where I am filling all the forms which are required to sponsor a spouse or partner to Canada. So I have logged into my IRCC portal account and if you're new then please watch my previous videos to understand how to create this online account and what are the forms you need to fill for your application. In this video we will talk about the document checklist which is the IMM5533 and uh, this checklist is not only for your reference but also for the visa officers who is looking into your application. So this is not an optional document you have to complete it and upload it in your online portal account. So let's download this form from the given link and uh, I will open this form using the Adobe PDF Reader. So I have opened the document checklist from the Adobe PDF Reader. It's a long 10 page document checklist so please follow along to avoid any mistakes. It says that as you go through the steps click on the checkbox for each applicable item and then you have some important notes that if you cannot provide one or more documents required by the checklist you must provide a detailed written explanation for each missing document. You must also provide any other evidence or documents you have available to satisfy the requirement. And it also says that when submitting an online application you will need to upload this form and other required documents with your application. The principal applicant is responsible for completing the forms on behalf of their dependents who are 18 years of age and older. And obviously you will uh, scan your documents and make a PDF and upload into the online, online portal account. And if your documents are not in English or French then you must provide a certified translation with a certified copy of the original documents. And do not submit any originals because if you are submitting your originals it will not be returned. Next we have is the information about the previous examinations and uh, it has to be filled by the sponsor. So this point is for those who applied for Canadian PR through the different programs like Express Entry and were asked to declare the details of their spouse. So if your spouse was already examined as non-accompanying dependent click yes otherwise click no. So I was unmarried during that time so I clicked no but if you were married and declare a spouse as a non accompanying partner then click yes. Moving on next we have part A forms required. So this document actually has two parts. Part A is for the forms and part B is for the documents or the proofs which you are going to upload in your online account. So first we have the document checklist for the sponsor and the principal applicant which is the same form which you are seeing right now. So yeah you have to click here because this is the IMM 5533 form which you must submit along with your application. Now you have the forms which are required to be submit by the sponsors. So the first you have is IMM 1344 which we have already filled and uploaded into the online portal account. So I'll just click here. Next we have the point for the application fees since uh, you will be submitting your application fees and uploading the receipt so click here and if you are also paying for the right of permanent residence fees then click here. I would suggest you to pay this right of permanent residence fees at the same time to avoid any delays. Next is financial evaluation IMM 1283. Uh, so this is when you have any dependent child who has one or more dependent child of their own but it wasn't case here I will not check this box and uh, I will write NA in the end. Now we have the forms for the sponsored person that is the principal applicant and the family members. Next we have is the class of application that is the inland application or outland application. So in my case it was the outland application because I was in Canada and my wife was in India. So I checked this box that I am currently because my uh, wife uh, she is saying that I am currently living outside Canada and I am applying under the family class. But if the applicant is living inside Canada and want to do the inland application uh, then they can click here. But if the spouse uh, that is the principal applicant is living inside the Canada and they still want to do the outland application with, which is the under the family class then they can check on this box and I will also check, check here. 
now the next point is for the generic application form for canada which is imm0008 we have already filled this form so i'll just check on this box moving on to the next point which is the country specific requirements so you the principal applicant must check the country specific requirements to confirm if there are any additional forms which are required based on your country of residence so my wife is from india and uh, only country specific requirement was to fill the travel information form which is imm5562 we have filled that form and have uploaded it into the online portal account so i will fill all those details in these lines so first of all i will check on this box because we do have the country specific requirement for india and i am filling that form and here i will write the complete name of the form which is imm5562 supplementary information your travel and uh, remaining three lines i did not want to leave blank so this is how i filled when i was filling this form so i will write na for the remaining lines but if you have uh, more country specific requirements then uh, just write those form names here now next we have the additional family information which is imm5406 we have completed this form so i will check this box next we have the schedule a background and declaration which is imm5669 we have completed this form as well so i will check this box now we have the forms which were needed to be filled by both sponsor and the principal applicant so the first one we have here is the relationship information and sponsorship evaluation imm5532 we have completed this form as well so i will check this box uh, remember that sponsor must sign the part a section 9 and part c section 12 similarly the principal applicant must sign the part b section 5 and part c section 13 otherwise your application will be returned next we have the use of representative imm5476 so we have already talked about this form in one of the previous videos so this one is also completed i will check this box and here i will check this box because it says that i am appointing a representative i the sponsor acted as a representative in my application the next point is uh, the authority to release personal information to a designated individual imm5475 so this was not applicable in my case so i'll just say not applicable and i will check all these both the boxes so we have completed the part a now we are moving on the part b which is the supporting documents now there are a few reminders the first one is about the documents so all the documents and the proofs must be either in english or french if they are not in english or french then provide a certified translation copy the second point is about the documents which you are submitting must be in the pdf so basically you will scan your proofs and the documents make a pdf and upload it into the online portal account and third one is about the country specific requirements so make sure you are checking your country specific requirements and filling all the required forms which are specific to your country now starting with the supporting documents for the sponsors first one we have status in canada so i will check this box and i will check this box because i am a permanent resident of canada and if you are checking this box you have to provide a photocopy or i mean the scan copy of your pr card both sides if you don't have the PR card, then you must provide your uh, COPR letter. And uh, if your card is expired, then you must submit the copy of your expired PR card. And if you are a Canadian citizen, then check this box and uh, provide any one of the following like your Canadian citizenship certificate, birth certificate, or your passport. Next point we have here is Are you the sponsor, a Canadian citizen living outside Canada? I'll say no and i will also check this box but if it is yes then you must tell ircc that when you are coming back to canada and what are your plans once this pr application has been approved now the third point is about do you the sponsor and the person you are sponsoring that is the principal applicant have a child or children together who may have the claim to canadian citizenship i'll say no because i am the permanent resident and i will also check this box this is generally for those who are canadian citizen and sponsoring their spouse so if you are a canadian citizen and have a child or children together then click yes 
and also click on this box uh, then you have to provide the required documents for your each child or children like uh, Canadian birth certificate showing the names of both parents Canadian passport Canadian certificate or proof of application for a proof of citizenship so now moving on to the next point which is about the previous relationship so first of all I will check this box and uh, the first point is about are you the sponsor currently married to anyone other than the person you are sponsoring I'll say no have you the sponsor previously been sponsored yourself for permanent residence so it means that if someone sponsored the current sponsor in the past so I'll say no and now next question is have you the sponsor ever been previously married no and uh, have you the sponsor ever previously been in common law relationship I'll say no so none of them is applicable I have clicked no for all the questions and I have also checked this box moving on to the next point which is about the employment or the source of income so first I will check this box and there are two sections if you're working in Canada and if you are not working in Canada so I was working in Canada when I was applying for this PR application so I checked this box so if you're working in Canada then provide an original letter from your current employer that is the employment verification letter and your pay slips and also do not forget to provide the notice of assessment and if you are self-employed then provide the notice of assessment and also provide the proof of income statement just uh, fulfill all these requirements and if in case you cannot provide your notice of assessment or a proof of income statement then you have to write the explanation on a separate sheet and uh, accompanied by relevant supporting financial documents to show that how you can support the principal applicant and if you are not working in Canada then check this box and again you have to provide the document showing that you can support the person you are sponsoring which means you have all the financial means to support the principal applicant now we have the checklist for the supporting documents for the sponsored person that is the principal applicant and all the family members included in this application the first point we have here is identity documents so I'll check here and in most cases it will be your passport so I'll check this box and if you the principal applicant are living in Canada then provide the proof of your status in Canada that is your temporary resident visa study permit work permit and so on the next point is birth certificate so you have to you I mean the principal applicant have to provide the birth certificate as well and then third box is about the country specific requirements so from India neither of these applies to me so I will check this box and I will also check this box because for India the only country specific requirement is to provide your travel documents or travel history the next point is about the civil status documents so I will check this box and here we have two points the current relationship and the previous relationship so in the current relationship the first point is if you the principal applicant are legally married to a sponsor provide your marriage certificate or other proof that your marriage is legally registered with the government authorities so we have provided the marriage certificate here so I will check this box as well and the next point is about the previous relationship so none of these are applicable so I will check this box and moving on to the next point which is additional information about the children so first I will check this box and since we do not have any children so I will write an A next to each boxes in the end next point we have here is about the police certificate and clearance so I will check this box and I will also check this box because we are providing the police clearance certificate and uh, it says any country other than Canada in which you spent six or more months in a row since the age of 18 so since my wife is uh, from India so we provided the uh, police clearance certificate from India and I will write the country name here but if you have lived in Canada for last six months or Canada is a country where you have lived for most of your life since the age of 18 then police clearance certificate is not required at this time IRCC will make a request for this on your behalf so this is not applicable I will just skip 
next we have is the military services so this is again not applicable so i will click on this no and moving on to the next point which is about the photographs so i will check this box and it says that when applying online upload the front and back of the photograph to application and you can always check the photo specification from this link next you have the point for the medical examination so uh, just leave this blank also do not write any because uh, ircc will send you the instruction for the medical exam at the later stage now next is about the proof of relationship to your sponsor so check this box and uh, it says that you must provide the evidence that the relationship between you and the sponsor is genuine and uh, here are some questions like uh, are you and your spouse currently living together so i will say no because i was in canada and my wife she was in india and if you are saying no then you have to provide both these documents the first one is proof of contact and the second one is the proof of your sponsor's visit so we provided both the proof so i will check on these both boxes well proof of contact means the letters text messages emails or social media chats like facebook or whatsapp and uh, we already have a video on this topic so you can check out that as well on our channel the second one is proof of your sponsor's visit such as your airline tickets boarding passes passport stamps and so on so but if your sponsor did not visit you make sure you provide an explanation in the form imm 5532 under the section part c question 4 so you can check out my video on imm 5532 where i have talked about this point as well but if you are currently living together then click yes and uh, provide at least two of the following documents such as your uh, proof of joint ownership rental agreement uh, utility account bills such as electricity gas telephone or internet bills uh, vehicle insurance or uh, let's say driving license or uh, maybe your cell phone bills pay stubs tax forms or bank or credit card in, uh, statements and uh, if you are not able to provide any two of these documents then uh, check this box and provide the detailed explanation that why you are not able to provide any two of these documents but none of this uh, was applicable for me so i will leave everything blank and i will move on to the next question the next question is about do you and your spouse have any children together i'll say no is this the first marriage for both you and your sponsor i'll say yes have you and your sponsor been married for a minimum of two years as of the date of application i'll say no because uh, we were just married and uh, started up having uh, this application ready now the next note is uh, check here if you have answered yes to all four questions above uh, but no uh, we did not answer yes to all four questions so we will just leave it blank and uh, if you did not answer yes to all four questions uh, then also provide the followings so i did not answer yes to all four questions above so i have to provide the required documents so i will check both the boxes and see what are the required documents here the first point here is about your photographs of your wedding customary celebrations engagement or any outings which you have had you need to provide a maximum of 20 photographs to support your relationship and uh, please upload a separate document providing a brief description of context of each photos provided and label your photos accordingly we already have a video on this topic so you can check out that as well and see how to provide the photographs to prove your relationship we provided 80 photographs with the detailed description on 20 pages and it went through without any issues uh, please remember that you need to upload a separate document for the context and at least two of the following so let's see so after getting married i added my wife on the insurance policy provided by my employer so i have this document so i checked this box and second one is documentary evidence of the financial support between you and your sponsor so we did not have this because we were just married other proofs that your relationship is recognized by your family or friends uh, which means the letters written by your family or friends or uh, any any messages on social media accounts so we have that we already have the video as well on our channel you can check uh, check that as well 
and uh, proof of past cohabitation since we stay together for few months after marriage so we prepared the proof of past cohabitation and uh, we have the video for this as well so we provided these three documents here in this section and if you are not able to provide any two of these documents so you need to check this box and write a detailed description to ircc that why you are not able to provide these two documents so now we are on the last section which is about the signatures this section is very important because it tells you where in your forms you both need to sign and uh, which is very important because if you miss any signature uh, your application will be returned by ircc and important reminder it says that double check that you provided all the required signatures on the following forms so here we have all the list of forms and we'll see that where we need to sign the uh, imm forms first we have imm 1344 which needs to be signed by sponsor as well as the principal applicant then we have imm 0008 which needs to be signed by the principal applicant then we have imm 5532 which needs to be signed by both sponsor and the principal applicant two times for this so the sponsor will sign on page 3 question number 9 and page 8 question number 12 and the principal applicant will sign on page 4 question 5 page 8 question 13 so next fourth point is about the additional family information imm 5406 so the principal applicant will sign it and if you have any family members in your application then you need to check here but in my case it was just the principal applicant my wife so i will only check this box next we have is schedule a background and declaration imm 5669 so the principal applicant will sign it here so i'll check this box and if you have any mem family members you need to check here as well use of representative so it will be signed by each person's 18 years of age or older who is appointing a representative so it basically it was signed by sponsor and principal applicant and the representative who was the sponsor in my case now the last point is for the authority to release personal information to a designated individual imm 5475 it is not applicable so i will check this box so we have completed this form and uh, please double check all the uh, all the informations which you have filled uh, you should not miss any check box which are required and uh, once you are done you need to save this pdf file as a simple pdf and uh, we will write na for some of the boxes just click on this print form button and uh, save this document as a pdf so i have opened this document checklist again just to review and uh, i'll see where all i need to write na so this one we have already checked the part a document checklist done sponsor imm 1344 it's done application fees we have checked both the boxes and financial evaluation so we have not clicked here so it, this is not applicable in my case so i will write na and next we have the forms by the principal applicant so class of application is uh, family class the outland application imm 0008 we have checked this box country specific requirements we have given the name and we have written the na already here the additional family information we have checked this box imm 5669 this is done now forms by the both sponsor and the principal applicant so we have checked this box for imm 535532 use of representative is checked and uh, we are appointing a representative so that's fine authority to release personal information not applicable so we have checked these boxes now part b supporting documents the first one is status in canada so yeah we have checked this box we have checked this box i am a permanent resident in canada and then second one is are you the canadian citizen yes we have checked this box uh, and uh, the claim of the citizenship for the children we have checked this box and we have said no now previous relation relationship so we have checked this box uh, this is also done employment and source of income now the supporting documents for uh, the principal applicant so this is also done we have provided the passport and checked both the boxes birth certificate and the country specific requirement neither of these apply so we have checked these boxes civil status documents so we have checked this box and we have checked this box and provided the marriage certificate and uh, previous relationship none of these are applicable so we have checked this box 
additional family may additional information about children so it says that write na to next to each boxes which does not apply to you so none of them are applicable so i will write na next to each boxes i'll write na here i'll write na here as well and uh, i will write na here as well so this is how i did for my application i did not check any box because none of that none of these were applicable and i wrote any next to all these boxes police clearance certificate so this is done we have checked all the required boxes here military services we have said no we can write any so i did write uh, any for my application so it's fine and photos we have checked we will not write anything for the medical examinations because you will get the instruction at the later stage so i will leave this blank and proof of relationship this is also done we have checked this box we have checked all these boxes and uh, we have checked all the required boxes here so i think we are good now last page about the signature so we have checked all the required boxes as well so we have written and wherever is applicable I will just save this document again and uh, will upload this on the online portal account. Now I have logged into my online portal account and this is where I need to upload my form IMM5533 and uh, I will click on this upload button and this is the form which you just saved and uh, wrote NA for all those boxes which are not applicable. So this is the latest uh, version of the form. Click here and click on open. So this form is being uploaded. And now you have successfully uploaded this document IMM5533. So that's it in this video. And we have successfully completed the eighth form from this application. And we now have filled all the common forms required to sponsor spouse or common law partner to Canada. And uh, I will post some more videos on similar topics. So stay tuned, like, share, and subscribe to this video. And uh, thank you so much.